Now we gotta build a motor that's going to sit in here. The way you do build a motor, you gotta wrap it around a D-sized battery. And the posts are sized to fit the height based on a D-sized battery. So just unroll your roll of your coil of uh, copper. Now this has a very thin and very robust coating on it which insulates it. So you have to remove part of it later in order to make it work properly. So very simply, just wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it around the D size, making sure that you keep it tight. Now, what you, you want to have is leave a little bit on both ends to to create your your terminals and your axle that around which the motor turns. And essentially, what you want to do is just go around once, twice three times and again on this side you want to keep the coil together I will explain the mechanism by which this works in a little bit uh, so we now we look at this and we see that it actually rotates pretty well now electricity is not going to be conducted through this wire yet because it's got that covering as I mentioned you want to trim your wire to a nice size so you don't have too much extra and that's that's about right and now this is an important important part of this whole operation uh, you want to shave off uh, and expose only a certain portion of the copper wire so on one side you only want to shave off half of the wire in the plane of the circle right there so let me go ahead and finish this operation and I'll explain the reason the other one you want to shave it off completely you don't want to have insulation on any part of the second wire and I'll explain why it might help to put it on a surface and do this so you don't cut your finger This step may uh, benefit from having a, a grown-up person, so we make sure we do this safely. So ask your dad or mom or anyone else who can do this safely. Now, if you can look here, it's very shiny, and it's all the insulation is all taken off. On this one, the insulation is taken off only on one side, and the reason is you want the conduction of energy to happen only when the coil is in certain position. So let's put this here and see what happens. You wanna raise or lower the post to make sure it's... Uh... So the motor is working now. And each time the motor goes around, each time the coil goes around, when the bottom of that one wire that is shaved connects to the copper it basically uh, conducts energy through the wire which uh, which then uh, interacts with the magnetic field of the magnet and gives a kick to the coil and then the coil goes around and then when it comes back it gets another kick and another kick it's important to make sure it's well balanced because obviously this is a weak motor and if it's too far out of balance it's not going to work very well. One of the things you could do is like put it next to a straight surface, make sure your wires are straight and then look at it from this direction, make sure it's straight and then try again. It might take a few tries to get it working really well but I guarantee it ultimately works very well. Here what I have is there's too much weight here on the bottom so it doesn't have enough energy to kick it around so I just bring it down a little bit to essentially balance it in uh, to make sure it uh, rotates freely around the axle. The better it rotates freely, the better motor you you will have. So now you can see I balanced it nicely and it's going very fast, very well. 
and this will go for as long as you want. If you want to experiment for a long, long time, uh, one thing you may want to do is have uh, uh, an adapter, like a 9 volt or 12 volt adapter instead of the battery, so you don't keep running out of batteries. I'm sure you may have one around the house, lying around. Uh, secondly, uh, if you're short of tape, uh, let us know and we will mail you tape for free. That's a copper tape. Uh, in case you waste some and it's not enough for the whole kit, we will be happy to uh, send you a few feet of uh, copper tape at no charge. Uh, I hope you enjoy the kit. Thank you very much for your purchase. These extra holes and dowels are for extra circuits that you can make using the tape and uh, components from Radio Shack. You could make a buzzer or a flashing light or whatever you like. You can make a momentary switch by using a paper clip and a piece of copper tape. Uh, once you learn the basics of how a circuit works, the possibilities are uh, limitless and only limited by your imagination. Uh, the purpose of this kit is to have a circuit that can be built with just a scissor and tape and you don't need soldering iron and sophisticated uh, electronics or voltmeter. One thing to remember is the brightness of this LED equals the conductivity of this uh, liquid. So the more conductive the brighter the LED is going to be.